we just weighed in at uh, 215 pounds exactly so uh, I think that's 3.8 pounds I've lost over the last week and 15 pounds since I started uh, this transformation so today is a Tuesday normally we weigh in on a Monday so it's a little over the week a little over a week the reason being is that uh, we got stuck in Columbus yesterday for an extra day so as you know I was away for uh, five days it ended up turning into six days because we got to the airport flights were delayed meaning that we'd miss our connector so um, we had to go back to our hotel change the game plan a little bit luckily I had three extra meals that I would have had to have uh, thrown out anyway so what I did that evening I went to a restaurant I ordered two steaks had a steak there and uh, I ordered a steak to go as well for me to have the following day and I knew that if I had a solid meal a supplement so I had a protein powder with oats solid meal supplement solid meal supplement like that then I'd definitely have enough meals uh, to get me back if I didn't have those meals I would have just um, gone out shopping or gone to a restaurant and got some meals to go so I think I got um, two eight or ten ounce steaks with broccoli uh, to go and um, I just used oats in a shaker bottle just with water as my carb source. It didn't taste so good, but I had to think about the transformation at the end of the day. So in all, the, the trip was a success. I ate seven to eight meals every single day. I only had like four or five hours sleep uh, each night. Had meetings down there, the work schedule was crazy, but I was able to control my environment around my meal times, around my workouts, and around my cardio. It was, you know, a pain, pain in the butt doing cardio, you know, like at 12 o'clock at night and then doing it again at like 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning. But, you know, you've got to do what you've got to do. So what I'm probably going to do now, I dropped quite a bit of weight. I knew I would have dropped a little bit more than normal due to, you know, the work stresses. And, you know, I was just running around the whole time. Didn't have time to rest where normally I have a sedentary job where I'm just sat behind a desk. So that burnt off a few extra calories. Uh, that's why I punched in the eight meals. I was doing the eight meals on non on training days and seven meals on non training days. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pull back a second carb meal. Like I don't have carbs in the last meal. I'm ha I'm not going to have carbs in the last two meals now. And I'm going to bump up my cardio a little bit. I'm going to probably do about 25. Uh, 25 minutes and continue with the twists at the end. So add in an extra five five minutes there and uh, just make sure that I'm still spot on with my um, my frequency of my meals and uh, I'm going to increase the intensity a little bit more with the training now lower the rest times drop uh, put in a few more drop sets maybe a couple of supersets in there as well just to keep the heart rate up while we're training and um, I think that's all the changes that we need obviously I, you know I'm going in the right direction mentally I feel good I just feel really drained, very tired after the, the time away. Um, and uh, I can feel my mental stability is starting to change a little bit as well. I'm starting to get not as calm and relaxed as I normally am, maybe a little bit highly strung, uh, which is kind of normal when you're, you know, you're not get, feeding your brain any fats. You know? So uh, you can become just a little bit irritable every now and again. I'm not that bad yet, but I can feel myself definitely going in that direction. So um, that's it for today. I'm not, I'm, I, I trained yesterday um, while I was in Columbus. I was supposed to train here, but I went back to the gym that was uh, just down the road from the hotel, put in my workout. So I won't be training this evening. Come back tomorrow for a glimpse of my morning routine. It's not what you'd expect.